Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if your Nvidia graphics card is not detected in Windows 11 and just fix it in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to simply show the hidden devices in Device Manager. Now to do this right click the Windows button and select Device Manager from the list of options and in here in the Device Manager window make sure to click on the View tab and select the Show Hidden Devices option. From here on make sure to expand display adapters and check if the Nvidia graphics card is showing up in this section. Then you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update the graphics card. Now in order to do this, make sure to click on the start button, then select the settings icon and afterwards click on Windows Update on the left pane and then on the right side click on the Advanced Options category. In here, under Additional Options, click on Optional Updates and the last thing you have to do is select the Driver Update section, make sure to select all the driver updates you're presented with and then click on the Download and Install button. So in case your graphics card driver is showing up in here, make sure to install it, then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to enable the graphics card. Now to do this right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. In here in the Device Manager window expand the Display Adapter section, right click on the problematic device and choose the Enable Device option. In our case we get the Disable Device alternative since the card is already enabled. So in case you have the option to enable the device, just make sure to click on Enable Device because it's possible that it was disabled in the past. From here on you can also update your driver. So make sure to click on the update driver option and click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the latest drivers available on your PC. You can then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to use command prompt. Now to do this press the Windows button then type in CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window make sure to copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below and then simply press on enter. Now wait until the command is executed and close this window, restart your computer and then check if the problem has been fixed. Next, another great solution is to uninstall any Windows update. This can happen if new updates are installed, then your graphics card might not show up. So in order to do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and click on Windows Update on the left pane and then on the right side select the Update History category. Now in here scroll down until you find the Related Settings section and click on the Uninstall Updates category. And from here on you can choose whichever update you want to uninstall from the new window. For example you can click on the latest update then restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. And lastly another useful solution, simple but useful, is to update Windows 11. Now to do this press the Windows button, select the settings icon, then click on Windows Update on the left pane and then on the right side click on the Check for Updates button. Windows will now try to scan for the latest updates, afterwards you can restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.